Kia ora everyone, I'm Daniel, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the 7 jackets that I'm going to be wearing throughout these colder days, kind of fall, winter, just any time that it's cold, I'll be wearing them, so let's get into it. So guys, when we come into the colder days, the autumn and winter kind of vibe, jackets are one of my favorite pieces to wear. I love just having that kind of like big jacket over the top and you've got all the layering going on underneath. It's probably one of the best bits about winter. Get to wrap up, feel just so snug and warm. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the seven jackets that I pretty much just constantly go to throughout the week and throughout this whole kind of season as well to keep myself warm and to just kind of like the different styles that I'll be wearing throughout. Also guys, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and if you guys are new to the final make sure you do click that subscribe button down below also come chill out with me on the daily and you can do this by following my instagram which is at on daniel simmons so guys let's dive into the first jacket all right guys first up a denim jacket you cannot go wrong with a denim jacket kind of like all times of the year i think a denim jacket is just one jacket that should just permanently be in your collection colors you know there's so many different types you've got your you know your really traditional blue ones but for me i'm going for a much darker color i've got this black one which was from zara you've seen it in uh, one of my Zara videos. It is an oversized denim jacket, so it does have the slight drop shoulders and it's a bit more of a, you know, baggier, boxy fit denim jacket. What I completely dig about denim jackets in kind of like this winter time is that you can layer it with a hoodie or a sweatshirt and stuff underneath. You, know, you can chuck on some black pants, some, you know, some Doc Martens. You go for that little bit more, that grungier look and yeah, dig it. So denim jacket has to be in. Now the second jacket that I'll be wearing guys is this one from Cos. Now sometimes you gotta go out to dinner or events and it's gotta be a little bit more dressed up, something where you won't be able to pull off a denim jacket as well. And that's when something like this comes in great. This is kind of like a blazer jacket in a way. What's great about Cos and the kind of their like jackets and stuff like this is that they fit so nice, so straight, so clean, and it just gives a really good kind of like minimal smart look to your outfit. Again, with this, you could, you know, rock a hoodie underneath if you wanted to. However, this to me is like my dinner kind of like jacket. Like if I'm gonna know I'm going to dinner and I wanna dress a little bit more smart without overdoing it, this is definitely one I'll go for. And especially with this colorway, you're just, you know, perfect for autumn, you chuck some like, you know, like burnt orange t-shirt or something like that, or with some brown pants, you know, you get those earthy tones, perfect vibe. Now, next up guys, we have an overcoat. You can't go wrong with an overcoat. So some of you like younger fellas, you might not be feeling overcoats just yet, but trust me, when you start getting a little bit older, like you'll completely dig them. And any of you who are like, kind of the youngest still at school and rocking overcoats, like mad respect for you. You guys are ahead of the game. Overcoats are just, there's so much you can do with them, which you might be surprised. Again, if you guys watched my How to Style Doc Martens, the boots one uh, video, you saw an outfit I used with this overcoat, which was literally with a hoodie and with track pants, which most people don't typically think you could wear it with, but you definitely can. You, these are, overcoats are so versatile, especially right now, because with kind of like the fashion scene, we're in this like era where it's like, you can be comfy smart and comfy casual. So it's okay to rock like a really smart piece like this with then like track pants and a hoodie. It's the same as like, we're getting like an oversized blazer with a hoodie underneath. We're really in this like moment where athleisure and kind of like high end fashion is starting to come together. So you can pull and make pieces like this so versatile. Now, sorry, that was getting so heavy. <laughs> Overcoats just great keeping you warm again i typically will always kind of layer these with a hoodie or a sweatshirt underneath um, i just think it goes great and like i said my favorite look right now is with the track pants now the downside that starts to come with this colder weather especially in london is the rain and I mean, all those jackets I just showed you are great, but when it starts raining, like you don't want to get them wet. However, this bad boy will. This is the transparent uh, raincoat, which was from ASOS. This is a bit more, this won't be everyone's cup of tea. It's my cup of tea. Um, I completely dig it. That whole kind of transparent material is in quite a bit right now. What I do really like about it is it's a dark gray, so it doesn't overly show you how transparent it actually is. And it's to me, the, the time I wear this jacket it is literally when it's raining. So if I'm like, man, it's raining, but I still want to kind of like dress up a bit. That's when I do go to this jacket. It adds a little bit of that kind of like, 
it adds this like little bit of kind of like I don't, I don't know even how to describe that. Like, kind of like fashionness to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just makes you feel like you did more to your outfit than just putting on your boring plain raincoat. It's just a nice way of mixing up kind of like a just standard raincoat and just add a little something more kind of like bougie or whatever you want to call it to your outfit. Yep, next one. The next one is probably my favorite jacket out of all of them. You guys mess with it a lot. It's heaps of questions on it on Instagram when I wore it. And it is this oversized, this like takes up the whole screen. It's this oversized puffer jacket from ASOS. This literally feels like a damn sleeping bag when you... There we go. This literally feels like a damn sleeping bag when you're in it. It is oversized. I got it still in a size large and it's just so cozy on the inside. Like when you wear this in winter, it's just, yeah, you, you, you'll start to sweat. Like even if you're in the coldest place, you wear this, then a hoodie, like you're good. Like you could sleep in it. It is so nice. Now, like I said, it's perfect for the colder days, but you just want to be careful if it starts pouring it down, like you don't want to get your puffer jackets wet too much. Now, I'm pretty sure ASOS is completely sold out of these. They do have different colors. I will try my hardest to find some links and put them in the description box for you guys. But yeah, other than that, I think like places like Bershka and Zara do a lot of oversized ones as well. So I'll check them out and let you know. Moving on to the sixth jacket, guys. Coming in, All Saints. I've had this one for about two years and it is your Parker jacket. Again, Parker jackets are just timeless. It will just always last you in your wardrobe and they're just such a good kind of like jacket to have in your collection. Now, what I do like about Parker jackets is kind of just how kind of like long they are. It's just this big kind of like, I just always picture it in my head as this big like kind of like farmer's trench coaty type jacket. Um, I like the vibe it gives it. You can wear it with smart pants, you can wear it with joggers, you can literally wear it with any types of pants, with jeans, and so many colors as well. Like, it keeps you warm, it's not waterproof. Um, it is it's just a nice staple piece that I have in my collection, and I find myself wearing it a lot more as just like an everyday casual fit. And last but not least, guys, one more overcoat, and this is actually a recent pickup of mine. It is a black overcoat. I've been wanting a black overcoat for a long time and I've been searching for one like this for a long time. Now, this one is from Bershka. Now, what's different about this one to the overcoat that you guys saw towards the start is this one's, this one is a lot thinner. It's more like, a, I think they even call, call it like a long cloth. So it kind of just sits over your whole entire outfit. So it's, it's an amazing one to layer, like layer with your outfit and you cannot go wrong with having a, like a black overcoat in your collection and I've, like I said I've wanted one for a while goes with all your outfits you can really play it down dress it up and it's a lot more low-key so, and there we have it guys those are the seven jackets that I will be wearing all throughout autumn and winter like I said the ones that I really like gravitate towards the most and that I get the most use out of I will try link all of these jackets in the description box below and any jackets that have sold out I'll just try find alternatives for you guys so if you mess with any of them you can check them out for yourself as well and then guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you did like it make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and if you guys are new to the far now make sure you do click that subscribe button down below also come chill out with me on the daily and you can do this by following my instagram which is at i'm daniel simmons leave a comment down below and let me know what are your two jackets two jackets that you just need for autumn and winter like you just always pick out of your collection i've seen a lot of people actually say i think i said that on instagram i asked the question as well and i think i saw a few on leather jackets and i'm thinking i think i need to do a video on leather jackets because I think that's something I want to start to get into. So I think we need to do a video on it. Also, a lot of you guys are asking about Fisherman's Beanie. Uh, well, not Fisherman's, where I get my beanies from. And I think that might require a video as well because I've just gotten a few more colors. So if you guys want to see those two videos also, let me know in the comment section below. Enough of my rambling. I'll leave you guys to go back to your day. Thank you so much for watching. Keep dressing well. And I'll see you fellas next time.